Five years of research have culminated in a new book that gives minority students a voice. The DuPage County Regional Office of Education has found an academic achievement gap among local African American and Hispanic teenagers. The organization released a collection of interviews from these students to bring issues to the forefront. NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck reports. In their book Voices, Dr. Lourdes Ferrer and Stephen Garlington capture comments from minority students among 20 different high schools throughout DuPage County about why they think African American and Hispanic students score lower on standardized tests than their Caucasian and Asian peers. Some of them are saying the schools are racist or the schools are biased. Some of them are saying uh, we don't value education the way that we need to value education. One student said, the African-American male wants to just get by and hope for some type of miracle of some sort. I think that they think just coming to school and hopefully graduating is good enough. Another wrote, I think Hispanics don't expect to achieve high because they think that they are different from white and Asian students. They don't think they can do well in school and go to college. Twenty-five recurring themes emerged among the responses, like negative attitudes towards the Prairie State Achievement Exam. According to the 2011 Illinois State Report Card, 64% of white and 66% of Asian 11th graders demonstrated reading proficiency on the exam, compared to only 33% of Hispanics and 25% of African Americans. That's one of the things the African American and Latino students say, you know, it's too hard to read, the test is too long, or oh, we're supposed to finish the essay and answer the questions too fast. Many black students say they often fear rejection from peers of the same race. There's a a premise that permeates the, the culture of primarily of African American, too many African Americans, and that is to be smart is not cool. Uh, to be smart somehow is considered acting white. Students from both groups said home is not an environment that contributes to their academic success. So Dr. Ferrer is trying to increase parental involvement. One of the things that I tell to parents is that when it comes to your kids' education, you have to sit in the driver's seat. Parents have to know what is it that I need to do at home or not do to ensure that the home environment is conducive to academic success. Another contributing factor, racism within the schools. The book quotes one student saying, as a high school student and as an African American, I have seen and been through a lot. I have been called names. I have heard every kind of racial slur you can possibly think of. As the number of minorities continues to rise in the U.S., both Ferrer and Garlington say it's important to implement programs that take care of the concerns these students have shared. If we don't educate more Latinos, if we don't educate more blacks, to get them to achieve at the higher levels is going to affect the future of our nation. The book also offers 27 different recommendations for closing the achievement gap, like encouraging schools to attract black and Latino educators and modifying the school's appearance to promote appreciation for different cultures. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. The Regional Office of Education has made strides towards closing the achievement gap. The groups created an equity and excellence department to help struggling minority students become more successful. They also hold seminars for educators and African American and Hispanic parents.